Good afternoon, everybody. Con here with Tech Out. Today, we're going to be checking out the Pixie Dust or Pixel Dust, my bad, Pixel Dust ROM for the Pixel 4 XL. This is available on some other devices as well, um, but right now I have a Pixel 4 XL and that's what I'm using it on. Um, so it is the Pixel Dust ROM running on Android 10. Um, and this was last updated in uh, February, I believe. So. That's what we're running right now. Um, this ROM is very similar to the Android Open Source Initiative Project or Illusion Project. Um, the launcher on this ROM is based on the Pixel launcher. Um, so very similar, but you do have some additional customization options. Um, you do have the search bar down here on the bottom. But like I said, you do have your own settings for your home screen and stuff like that. It gives you a few more features um, on top of what you get from the Pixel launcher. And you also get some nice theming in this uh, launcher or on this um, ROM as well. So if you go into styles and wallpaper here, you can change your styles. You can customize all that um, just like you can on the Pixel 4 XL. You've got all your wallpapers here as well. There are some uh, Pixel Dust wallpapers that are specific to the ROM as well. Um, so you have a bunch of those um, right here. There's a few different ones. I'll just slide through them real quick. Um, they all pretty much have the Pixel Dust logo on them. So pretty cool, um, pretty nice wallpapers. If we go into the settings here, um, we do have themes. So you can change your accent color um, right here. There's a bunch of different ones you can choose from. Uh, you got your stock ones, your default, everything like that. You can change your font type, um, all different kinds of fonts in there. Who didn't want to do that. Um, change your font type, you can change your icon shape, um, your your quick, uh, quick settings toggles, you can change the shape of those as well. Um, you can change the theme, so you have your Google Dark theme, which is, okay, I don't know why that opened, but uh, you have your Google Dark theme, which is like your gray. You have your um, pitch black, which is gonna be dark dark, um, black completely, uh, battery saving, all that kind of stuff. And then you have solarized dark, which is like a dark navy blue. Um, so you've got all those different themes and whatever you set there when you use the quick settings toggle It will change to your last used um, Setting so if you have it on like solarized dark it will turn that on instead of the regular Google dark, which is very nice um, Going back into settings here. We have your pixel dust settings. So I don't know why That keeps happening. Um, so we have your pixel dust settings here um, You can customize your status bar uh, your clock location all that kind of stuff in there your battery settings uh, your icon percent, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can change your quick settings, what you want up there. The only issue I, I've experienced with this ROM is the borders on the status bar were not set properly. Um, so you do have to go in here and change the status bar extra padding option. I usually keep it on about 17 or 18 to keep the clock and the battery icon from getting cut off. But that's something you just set once and it, it fixes the issue completely. Um, we've got buttons, so you can set different button stuff, your volume settings, your volume rocker, whether it wakes the screen or not when you, when you toggle it, uh, torch, uh, toggle torch when screen is off. Um, one cool thing about this ROM is you can use the squeeze feature to turn the torch on and off, or if I hold it, I have it set to pull down my notification shade. I should probably turn that around and make it so the quick squeeze is the notification, just so I don't have to sit there and squeeze on it to get that to come up. Um, navigation bar, there's nothing much there because we have the gestures. Um, gestures right here, we have your... Status bar, double tap to sleep, lock screen, double tap to sleep, um, your motion sense settings so you can figure all that in there, your active edge, like I said, your short squeeze, your long squeeze, um, you can have those do a whole bunch of different actions, totally customizable. Um, lock screen, we have your battery info, whether you want your battery info to show when you're charging, um, fingerprint, uh, that doesn't matter for this uh, ROM because, or for this phone because we don't have a fingerprint sensor. Um, lock screen, we're just there, power menu. Um, you can choose what is shown on your power down menu. Um, if you want restart, you know, all that kind of stuff. Screenshot, like if I hit um, restart, we should get the advanced restart options. I'm not seeing those. Yeah, I don't know where those are. It might be under that one, but I don't want to hit and restart it right now. Um, notifications, you can customize a active edge, edge lighting notification thing. Couldn't get this to work. Um, I did have it turned on, but I wasn't getting the edge notifications. So I'll have to play around with that a bit. I don't know if there's a bug in it or if I just wasn't. Um, using it right, but whatever it may be. And then under the misconsensus, miscellaneous, we have your wake up on charge. If you want the screen to turn on when you uh, plug it in, or like I said, this is your padding section where you can change the padding of your status bar and all that kind of stuff. So that's all your customizable settings. 
There's a few more things in here, like it shows the battery temperature and that kind of stuff, um, but not much else throughout the regular settings there. So that is the Pixel Dust ROM on my Pixel 4 XL. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.